Tom Tolike made a very cryptic post. Like, she made this post, and after some while, she deleted it. Please, if you love Tom Tolike, please say a word of prayer for her in yes. this video. I'm begging okay. you. Yesterday, Tom Tolike made a very cryptic post, and later she deleted it. Guys, we don't know what is going on in her life. We don't know what she's being through. We don't know what she's going through at all. We all come on social media and we smile, we post our beautiful pictures, our beautiful videos. Of course, nobody comes on social media to post ugly pictures. But behind these smiles we are seeing on social media, behind all these laughter kind of videos, behind all these kind of happy videos, there are still some things, little, little things that are eating one up in the secret that they may not really like to bring to the public. I don't really know where you're watching me from, but if you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Casey and you're here on Casey Vlogs. Thank you so much for being here. So concerning Tonto Dike, Tonto Dike is a very popular Nollywood actress and she has been in the industry for over two decades now. Tonto Dike has, has been this kind of stubborn, mist with beautiful heart kind of person. Tonto has, she has been known for, um, a kind of controversy relating to relationship should i say that she does not find favor when it comes to relationship or should i say that relationship you know they favor her i don't really know how to put it but tonto dike made a very cryptic post that drew a lot of attention of night the disturbing post made by tonto dike she said if anything should happen to me and i died unexpectedly please always remind my kids how much i love them always remind them how much i love them anytime you see them that is all i want them to know guys this is the exact post made by Tom Tudike and it drew the attention of a lot of nigerians as people are curious you know, like what is happening this is a kind of um a write-up from someone maybe someone who is depressed someone who is going through a lot of things and does not have the hope of coming out of it and that aside one most important thing you should note in this write-up is that Tom Todike we know has only one child but in her write-up she said remind my kids remind my kids tell them how much I love them she even repeated them to twice so people begin to wonder is she talking about her present or later in her life or is she trying to take her life or something you all still remember when um toto Dike had a fight with Bukri, one of her ex okay so then there was one clip that uh, Bukri released that got Tonto Dike so much in that video she was crying like crying like she was at her lowest she was crying and she made a statement in that video which is uh, please, Bukiri, if I died today, please do not give my child, my son, to the father. Please keep him with you. Please, you know, she was pleading with Bukiri. We don't really know what happened, why she started crying and all that. But in the clip, she was begging that if anything should happen to her today, that Bukiri should keep the son for her. That she should, that he should not give the son to the father. So people were like, why is Tonto Todiki fond of saying things like, if I die, don't do this, don't do that. Like she's, she, I felt um, she more concerned on her, sh on her child, on her son. She don't want the child to suffer. Like, you know, wish every mother would, would, that is what every mother would want for their son or for their children. Like nobody should let them to suffer. And uh, Tonto Todiki is so much irritated by um, her her child's father, uh, Shoshi. And after she made this post and later deleted it, Shoshi went and uh, had made his own post, <laughs> a kind of post trying to refer to Tonto to Dike. In, and in the post, he captioned it, uh, whatever you did to me, all the lies you told about me will come to you. That was after Tonto Dike had deleted her own post. Shoshi went and made this post he did not actually comment on Tonto Dike's own board. Rather, he made a complete post, but telling Tonto Dike that all the lies he uh, she told about him will come back to her. Meaning, he's, he's, he's kind of throwing words, but if you look at it, you know that he was actually referring to Tonto Dike. 
And last but not the least, uh, investigative journalist Kemi took it upon herself to go deeper uh, uh, from what to the game posted. She went deeper and came up with this write up you are seeing on the screen. She said, in as much as I, I despise Tone Todike as a wicked liar who continues uses Mulumili to pacify herself. She is a, mm -hmm, you are seeing it there, I don't want to call it out. Right now, someone should check on her and Shoshio's son. That is all I'm going to say right now. And there is more. She said, though, there is more. This substance of abuse have the ways to manipulate the central nervous system and other things she wrote there. You can see it. So this is journalist Kemi. You know, journalist Kemi and the Toto DK, they, they, they know they enter the same um, house. Like, they, they, they don't even walk on the same road. You get. They have their own fight since the story of Shoshu and Toto DK. Uh, came to the public and um, journalist came and took it upon herself and she's claiming to be um Shoshu's um media and uh, PR or whatsoever I don't know but what I'm saying is that hmm, you know these public figures they may be going through a lot that we don't know they may be passing through a whole lot of things that we don't know sometimes we kid we see them coming out smiling and wearing all kind of beautiful clothes please once in a while shake up on someone you get even people these days use social media to express themselves when they are when they are depressed you see some people when they are going through some kind of things you will see it on their state you see it on their whatsapp status people who will find social media more safe to 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 talk about things they are going through because sometimes they feel like human beings may not give them time may not want to listen to them and they just go on social media to write for any random person who is following them to see it and let me tell you check up on someone no matter how wealthy how beautiful how strong anyone might appear to be people are going through a whole lot of things so we can never tell what is wrong with Tone to the kid right now but if you are her lover i just wish you you say some word of prayers for her and i wish she will get um over whatever she's going through right now you know what all this even social media sometimes uh, what they are going like the, the kind of engagement they are getting on their page the kind of traffic sometimes this traffic can be negative it can be a whole bunch of people trying to insult you like want you to live a kind of life they expect from you because they see you as their role models you get a lot of pressure is coming from a lot of places sometimes social media can be so toxic on this set of human but you know what we can we like we cannot continue hating please love share love okay love someone today tell someone i love you today please so i don't really know what you think about the story of Ton Todiki and Shoshi. But Shoshi responded to Ton to show that he knows something about Ton to he knows what Ton to is going through and why she made the post and later deleted it. You get him. And the journalist came is telling us that Ton to is completely facing the prayer, the prayer. I wish her the best and to come out of this soon.